All right, uh, we're going, I mean, this is probably like video 10. Oh yeah, we have a huge YouTube channel. I mean, it's lots like, of followers. And the following is, <laughs> I think my mom doesn't do it. Your mom, your mom watch? I would be fascinated if my mom could get on YouTube. <laughs> Hi mom, if you're here, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, hey guys, Jesse Harris, Cardinal Hill. Wealth Management, I am a CFP, love what I do, and it's my partner Robert. Hello, I have my doctorate, um, and I also love what I do. It's a great job. Love helping people. We just got back uh, a few weeks ago from our national conference with Commonwealth uh, Financial Network. Wanted to do just a couple of highlights that we had, and we wrote down a couple quick things, but we haven't talked about how we're going to do it. So I'll start. You know, what's really awesome about Commonwealth is that it's independent advisors all joined together through um, really great, great back office support and a lot more than that from Commonwealth. And this year I was in Denver, Colorado, and it was a blast. I, I think what I loved about it coming from a more wirehouse type of environment is getting to sit down with other advisors. Uh, that are doing things how they want to do things because we're independent. And so you get to hear a whole bunch of ideas of how people run their business, how people invest money for clients. And it was really, really good just hearing what they do. A couple of takeaways, but a lot of the takeaways was, man, I really like how we're doing things. I feel really good about how we're taking care of people. I think we're really elite in the space. And it was great getting to hear that, validate that, and take away a couple other cool strategies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, I think learning a couple things, um, like Jesse, from our peers, also from some of the speakers that are just experts in some of these little niche topics. Uh, one of the speakers, and we'll show in a minute a couple clips live from the conference, like we go to a session and record our thoughts, and sometimes we're like pumped and sometimes we're super bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some conferences are not the greatest, but this was pretty good overall. Um, but one of the sessions was on uh, wealth transfer, and I know a lot of people, including many of our clients, don't see themselves as wealthy, but just thinking with the future in mind, someday you might be worth millions of dollars, even though it doesn't feel like it, just the magic of compound interest. And a great stat I heard was the currently wealthy, defined by the speaker, is over $30 million. Um, they're not really thinking about the money aspect of wealth transfer as much as the values aspect. So it was about 44% of those surveyed were interested in the transfer of financial assets and how do you save on taxes and all that. So less than half, but over half, I think it was over 70% were focusing on how do you transfer values in a sense of family identity and, and mission statement. It just goes back to that whole Dale Carnegie quote and, you know, being shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves in three generations and, and trying to think about is, is wealth a blessing? And, and if so, how do you ensure? And so that was really good because we do a lot with investing. We do a lot with the math and everything, but really thinking about helping our clients, you know, really think about the softer side of life and, and how do you help family um, inherit wealth well and so that it's a blessing and, and it doesn't come a yoke around their neck. Um, so that was great. Um, I mentioned in the video, just always cool to see what the capabilities are that we have as an independent. So separately managed accounts and you know actively managed taxable accounts and kind of unique strategies that we can do there are great. Um, and then lastly, just with investment efficiency, we went to a lot of talks of how to institutions like hedge funds and sovereign wealth funds manage money. And we're already doing a lot of that for our clients. So that was very confirming, but a couple different ways to really dial in risk tolerance a little bit more. So we're getting a little bit more fine grain. So now we've constructed, you know, a 90% stock, 10% bond portfolio and the 70% versus 30. Whereas before we, we had a couple kind of higher level um, 80% stock, 20% bond, or just 100% stock. Now we have lots of more granular, nuanced blends of the portfolios that we've already designed. So just trying to get better every day a little bit. So, yeah, I think we'll pivot now to show you some of the live feedback. No, no. So from Rob, Rob I thought oh, we were going to go oh, back and forth. Oh. I've got two more points. Oh, gosh. I thought you already did it. <laughs> uh, see, this is what happens when you okay. don't coordinate beforehand. Real. Yeah, this is real. <laughs> this is a real deal. Hey, so one of the things that you... Uh, we'll see a quick video snippet on, but it's just talking about executive compensation. We work with a lot of execs, and so we understand a lot of how those things function and work. 
but it was great hearing some really just finely tuned strategies for executive comp. Uh, I think Goldman Sachs was the one presenting that. It was great. Mm -hmm. I mean, lots of really good detail um, and more to, more to come on that. The other thing that I really loved was this conference, they bring in some really awesome keynote speakers. Right. Uh, Father Boyle was one of them. Man, if you haven't looked or know who Father Boyle is, I didn't coming into it. He started uh, a little bit of a nonprofit in L.A. that works with gang members called Homeboy. Homeboy, Homeboy uh, Business. Or something yeah, just, like just look up yeah. Homeboy and Father Boyle. You'll find it. it. It is really cool stuff of what he's doing. But he's, he's basically helping folks that want to get out of gangs in L.A. It's the largest in the United States of helping uh, gang members. And it was yeah. awesome. And I, what I love is it's talking about really having purpose and mission and really valuing the person right in front of you. And that's so much of who we want to be at Cardinal Hill. And so hearing that Commonwealth is really passionate about us becoming really holistic advisors get, gets me really excited because we want to really advise our clients holistically as well, not just on money, but on what it is to be wealthy in life. Right. And so, to go with that, they, I forgot the name of it. We should probably do another video on this, but they're actually creating like a national award that is about um, celebrating people that are caught doing good. So if you think about it, a lot of, you know, really, you know, movie stars, they have an award for, you know, Emmys and Grammys and Tonys for you know, all these different awards, but we don't really have like a great award for somebody that's paying it forward or, or just doing the right thing. And so I think they've worked with a couple of larger groups to kind of get behind that. Now Commonwealth Financial Network is the sponsor for this one award that they're trying to become really big to you know catch people doing the right thing there's a lot of bad news on tv these days and like let's have some celebration of people that are doing stuff like father boyle is doing which is really inspiring so yeah yeah i think robert you were transitioning us out now i think we were ready i'll let you take over i obviously <laughs> bungled it the first time <laughs> well i think we are going to have a couple of compilation of just a couple of quick videos on what we saw there, or and maybe we not even slam them together. It may just be quick minute videos of what we learned right when we came out of the session. If you're curious, it should be coming pretty soon to the channel. All right. I'm drinking water. My water has a little bit of leftover coffee in it. Delicious. I mean, mine actually is a little cloudy as well. Cloudy water. Cheers. <laughs>